Hello everybody. Let us try to answer this item from geometry, particularly on the angles formed by the hands of a clock. At what time between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. will the hands of the clock form a right angle? I have a clock here for reference. Credits to the PowerPoint school for providing me with this animation. So let's, so let's think. How many times will the hands of a clock form a right angle. Now the clock is stopped at 1 o'clock and let's roll it for an hour. There's 1 and there's 2. Note how there are two occurrences of a right angle. The first one being a little bit over 1.15 p.m. as you can see from the animation. And the other one right before when it hits 2 p.m. So obviously, our answers should lie approximately in that range, sometime after 1.15 and sometime before 2 o'clock. So we would expect two answers. Now let's dive in with the solution. So recall the formula formed between the, ang the hands of a clock. We have the absolute value of 30H minus 11M over 2. H is the R, so if, if you have a time like 3.45, h would have a value of 3, and then m would have a value of 45. The h referred to the r, and the m referred to the minutes. Since we want to have a right angle, we set it equal to 90. So we have the absolute value of 30h minus 11 over 2 equals a 90. Now we split the equation into two cases. That's how you solve absolute values. So we know that Whatever is inside the absolute value should be equal to 90 or negative 90, since the absolute value of 90 is 90, and the absolute value of negative 90 is also 90. Now we have two equations, and then we'll be able to get our two values for m. Alright, note that any time between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. is of the form 1xx p.m. Therefore, we can use that h equals 1. So that's the, that's the key thing here. We only need to solve for the value of m since we already know the value of h. So we, have, we just substitute h equals 1 on the two, uh, in the, into the equations that we form after we separated the cases. We separated the cases for the absolute value. Now all we have to do is solve for m. Since we have two equations, we'll get two values for m. All right, we solve for m. So just algebra. Manipulation will give you uh, m equals negative 120 over 11, or in mixed fractions, it's negative 10 and 10 over 11. And the other case would give you m equals 240 over 11, which would give you 21 and 9 over 11. So there we go. We have the two values for m. However, we have a problem here. The first equation gives us a value of negative 10 and 10 over 11. Well, it doesn't make sense for us to say negative minutes when talking about a time. In fact, this value of m, negative 10 and 10 over 11, is actually an extraneous solution. So we would only consider 21 and 9 over 11 in this case. So since this is the time that is a little bit after 1.15, we're still missing with the time just before 2 o'clock. Now this is the trick. Oh, sorry, this is a common mistake of high school students when dealing with these type of problems. They forgot to include the other possible angle. Don't forget that we can set the angle to 270 as well. Note that the hands of a clock will always form two angles, the smaller angle and the larger angle. Now, it should be obvious enough that the smaller angle plus the larger angle formed will equal 360. So if the smaller angle is 90, then the other angle, the larger angle, would be 270. So this is the case that we forgot. So we would solve for m when the angle formed equals 270 degrees. Now, same thing, we have h equals 1, just like the previous example when dealing with um, the equation when, it, when it's equal to 90. So same case, just solve for m. We're going to get that. We have two values for m again. m equals negative 480 over 11, which would give you in mixed fractions negative 43 and 7 over 11. The other value of m is 600 over 11, which would give you 54 and 6 over 11. 
Now, uh, again, the, 40 th the negative 43 and 7 over 11 is an extraneous root since uh, negative minutes doesn't make sense when we're talking about the time. And this value of m of 54 and 6 over 11, this is the time that we're actually finding because we know it's a little bit before 2 p.m. So from the two cases, we have m equals 21 and 9 over 11 and 54 and 6 over 11 as the possible values of m. And uh, they correspond to the times 121, 9 over 11 p.m. and 154, 6 over 11 p.m. Now, just going back to the animation again, we, know, we found out that one time is right before, what, sorry, one time is right after 115, and the other time is right before 2 o'clock. And these two satisfy those two um, approximated times from our preliminary analysis. So that is how you answer this, and we will have those two as our final times.